Okay, good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss the next concept under the strategies for enhancement in food production, that is beekeeping or in agriculture. In previous class, we are discussed about the controlled breeding experiment, controlled breeding experiment like artificial insemination and MOED, multiple embryo transport technology, multiple ovulation embryo transport technology under the animal husbandry. And the next concept today we are going to discuss about what beekeeping or we are going to call it as a apiculture. What is mean by beekeeping in the sense bee, I think you all know honeybees. Honeybees is the name of Jain Wala Notary Bureau. Jain Wala Sakana ke andran na beekeeping or a apiculture. The simple thing. The maintenance of a hives of honeybees for the production of honey. Hives at the andra nivea and kerala gudu. Our Jain Gudu. Jain Gudu Sakana ke pa Jain and Sakana ke yadra samad paa ka andara production of honey. Honey production at the andra nivea and kerala gudu. Jain Tupa. Jain Tupa production sabay naave maan kerala gudu. Honey. बीस आकार के मार्ग में गड्ढे बोर करके उनके पास करने से बी कीपिंग और एक एपिकल्चर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ़ द हाइज ऑफ़ द हनी बीज फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ़ हनी इज़ कॉल्ड एस बी कीपिंग एंड अपने दैट वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ़ हनी वी इस टू नो अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ़ हनी हाँ हनी इम्पोर्टेंट it is act as a medicine too. It is act as a medicine too. It is used in India also. And that is what we are in Ayurveda. Ayurveda like in Patan Daga, this honey gets its own medicinal value. In the sense, why, what is beekeeping and what is the importance of honey? We are studying in these two points. What is the definition or what is mean by beekeeping? Maintenance of hives of a honey bees for the production of Honey is called as beekeeping, and what is the importance of honey? Honey is the food with the high nutritive value, and also they act as a endogenous system of medicine. After this, after this, honey bees are not going to give us only honey; they can give us bee wax also. They can give us bees wax also. In the sense, honey bees produce bee wax. It can be used in a different industries like preparation of cosmetics and polishes. A good polishes are very very polishes are there. A polishes means the cosmetics, whatever means cosmetics. And then good that you do. A cosmetic like all the important things are bees wax. And then you have hive. What means that in Jaintu Parnagar, Parnagar, that there is only that wax that can be used in a different industries like like for the preparation of cosmetics as well as the preparation of polishes. So that first important of honey bees in Patanjali, honey bees can give us honey. That is one thing. Second thing is what they can provide us bee wax that is used for the preparation of cosmetic and polishes etc. In the sense, honey got its own important in 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 Patanjali. It is a food act as a food with a high nutritive value and it is endogenous used as a endogenous system of medicine. Understood? Next now, increase the demand of honey. When the increasing for the increasing population, the demand of honey is also increased, and that leads to large scale, large scale beekeeping practice. Large scale bee, uh, beekeeping practice. In the sense, this is what we are call as a beekeeping apiculture. Or apiculture is a age old cottage industry. Age old cottage industry. Age old cottage industry. Then uh, no doubt not worry. Age old cottage industry. Cottage industry. Then we are going to talk about. Not only uh, beekeeping is a cottage industry, there are other cottage industries also. Cottage industry in the sense of what? We used to start anything, uh, means a production of anything in a small scale. In our home itself, we have a small scale in a small scale. We have a small production of the production of the production. We have a start of the production of the production. We have a small scale in the cottage industry. In that case, this Beekeeping or agriculture also it is one age old cottage industry. It is one age old cottage industry, and nowadays for the increasing population, I mean increased population, uh, there is increased the demand of what we are going to call it as a increased demand of honey that leads to large scale beekeeping practice. Large scale beekeeping practice rather than the cottage industry production. Understood? Now. It has become established nowadays. The beekeeping or a agriculture 
it has become established as an income gathering industry income gathering industry in the sense uh, the people they are practicing the beekeeping or agriculture for getting the income in the sense source of income understood this is about what the basic things regarding what beekeeping definition importance of honey importance of honey bees in the sense they are they can give us rather than honey they is to provide us bee access and the bee access is also used in a different industry uh, for example i told you for the preparation of cosmetic and preparation of polishes etc an increased demand of honey leads to a large scale bee keeping practices leads to a large scale bee keeping practices and the bee keeping or agriculture it has become established income gathering industry nowadays so many people they are doing bee keeping or agriculture for getting the income in the sense source of income it is also a side business for the actual what we are going to call that as the agriculture now after this the things we are going to study in bee keeping in a sense what the bee keeping or agriculture where we are going to start the bee keeping or agriculture bee keeping or agriculture it is practice in any area you can practice it in any area but you <coughs> you used to what we are going to call it as a make sure that that area where there are the sufficient moisture there is the, the uh, sufficient bee moisture sufficient bee moisture than that na now the area choose maati edak paathana bee keeping or agriculture ka a area da sufficient moisture atan da honey bees bekadanga sufficient solid trees irbeku sufficient flower irbeku sufficient water area na irbeku sufficient en paathana fruits irbeku or else our the area da gene edak paathana da cultivated crops atan da very very crop cultivation irbeku so that out en paathana da for collection of nectar en paathana da fruits flowers ivella shedu adhe aa one area anta one area ge enta paathana da sufficient moisture like we were then or then shrubs fruits orchids and cultivated crops etc kinta one area ge enta paathana da agriculture na start maadi we are going to start the agriculture we can practice the agriculture it is what we are going to call as a bee keeping or agriculture it is practicing in any area where there are sufficient bee moisture like shrubs fruits orchids uh, cultivated crops etc and the common what we are going to call as a crop or a common species that can use for the bee keeping or agriculture is apis indica it is apis indica and uh, why we are going to use the apis indica in the sense it is uh, what we are going to call it as a easy to handle easy to handle and cultivate for example in the apis indica we do very uh, for example kadala kaidru abjanantam doddu doddu jeen bartu avu en paathu na kadudu athwa if they are to sting us uh, what we are going to call that as a they are highly poisonous so that we are not going to use those bees atanda yaar one en paathu daga user friendly adu aa one na bees species na use maadti hangagi apis indica this species can be used for the what bee keeping or apiculture now what are the steps are there for the successful bee keeping what are the steps are there for the successful bee keeping adro yen bartu nodri first if you are going to go for the bee uh, bee keeping or agriculture new agriculture mada kodu godidiri godidiri athwa what we are going to call that as a uh, bee keeping mada kodaga ene new en paathandaga steps na follow madbeku what are the steps you used to know first one is knowledge of the nature and habits of the bees knowledge of the surrounding nature is to know uh, which kind of nature is there which kind of climate is there okay and after that habits of the bees habits of the bees and then that the particular apis indica to one apis indica the one there part and the production of honey made with the yaya one condition beku yaya one area na that bahala so praman that there part and the honey production made the bee rite nam yen beku part and the knowledge about knowledge of the nature and the habits of the bees that is the first thing second one is selection of a suitable location for the bee keeping suitable location andre how young irbek location location is full of sufficient bee moisture anta area la hogi en bandaga bee keeping madbeku ee nu en bandu one madde hogodri alli yavu rite water ella or flowers ella or fruits ella or yavu rite one green ah en bandu grasses hogirilla antalli hogi bee keeping madtar antandre that is unsuitable for the bee keeping and so that is what selection of a suitable location for the bee keeping next one is catching and hiving of swarms 
catching and hiving of swarms of tamra swarms in the sense what number of hives a uh, number of groups okay avanu hidiyodu aa mantra avutana hiving hiving antanga harvesting adu madodu ella madodu aa inadinda that's that we are going to call that as a catching and hiving of swarms last next one is management of bee hives bee hives andre ena jail wood avaru management evar madodu bahala important ikku atandaga ಏನೇ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದಾಗ ರೆಡಿ ಸೀಸನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಏನು ಪಾದ ವಿಂಟರ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸಮ್ಮರ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೀಸನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ದಿ ಬಿ ಹೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹನಿಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಹೈಜೀನಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡೈರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೈರಿ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ that is the last point handling and collection of honey bees apart from this the honey bees are act as a pollinators are act as a pollinators pollinators in the sense they pollinate the different species of crops different species of what we call as a plants that can they are help for the farmers indirectly for the increasing production of different species of crops understood so this is what the importance of honey bees okay still also we are studying about the honey bee atwa bee keeping or a apiculture itralli first important thing is honey bees honey bees how they are important means how they are got importance in human life atwa uh, human life ga tandaga honey bees are going to produce means provide us honey honey bees are going to provide us bee wax honey bees are act as a pollinators so they can help us indirectly for the pollinating different kinds of plant different kinds of flowers okay and that can help us in agriculture understood this do in part the importance of honey bees the important of honey there at the name of honey in part the honey is the food with the high nutritive value and given in a system of medicine understood what is the important of bee wax uh, bees wax at the bee wax it is used in a different kinds of uh, industries like the preparation of cosmetics and polishes etc and yav question athwa yen point avu kelthadane aa point ni enu paathundaga elaborate maadi athwa explain maadi athu understood this is about what bee keeping or a apiculture and in this we have studied the definition of bee keeping importance of honey after that important of bee waxes uh, sorry bees wax that is also given means we are going to get from the honey bees the next one is increased demand of honey leads to a large scale bee keeping practices and nowadays it has become established as a income gathering industry then where we are going to where we are going to practice the bee keeping or apiculture we are going to practice the bee keeping or apiculture in any area where there are sufficient bee pasture okay and which is the common species is used for the what we are going to call as a bee keeping that is at the sindika and these are the steps we used to follow for the successful bee keeping and last one i told you bees honey bees are also plays an important role in pollinating the different kinds of flowers or different kinds of plants so that they are act as a pollinators and they are going to help farmers for increasing their productivity like this uh, bee keeping it gets its own important uh in uh, what we are going to call that one as a agriculture too so this is what the concept we are studying under the strategies for the enhancement in food production after the animal husbandry animal husbandry agana now in kalthu padanga ivatta bee keeping or a apiculture this is about the bee keeping and apiculture now next we are going to study the next thing that is fishery okay after the what after the studying of uh, bee keeping we are moving forward to fisheries here in fisheries fisheries it is a industry in which our fisheries is the industry devoted to devoted in the sense what we are going to call that one as a new one in the fishery industry and the end of the other and the end of the day the fishery is the industry devoted to catching selling and processing the fish selfish and other aquatic animals 
fish selfish and other aquatic animal is called as a fisheries now here you all are come across the fish fish at the are now catching and selling or a processing of their what we are going to call it as a fish and the hero guru at the other mark they are going to be self fishes and other aquatic animals in the sense what self fishes these are come under what we are going to call that as a cells at the other molus molus ka in now phylum kalta divi atro paranta cells kuda in part undaga avano catch madodu adu avano sell madodu undaga adu kuda atro bartide fishes na bartide after that aquatic other aquatic animals other aquatic animals in the sense what you all aware about the or uh, uh, or you all are studied about the arthropods in arthropoda we are studied about the example crab prawns lobsters and all the things these are also uh, what we are going to call as a example there only prawns crabs lobsters ivunu kuda ir paadandaga as a food human beings consume maartaru hagagi ivunu kuda now in part of the fisheries daga include maartivi in the sense how we are going to write the definition for the fisheries fisheries is the industry devoted to catching selling and processing the fish comma selfish and other aquatic animals next now the large number of our population in the sense uh, nowadays the large number of population is depend on the fish fish product and other aquatic animals for their food this is the thing that's what we are going to go for the production of a large number of what uh, fishes or a other aquatic animals now next one is when we are going to go for the fishes what are the common crab i uh, mean crab or common uh, carps common carps yeah you know what i'm talking about there are two different kinds of common carps which are found in a fresh water as well as in marine water katla and rohu what i told you katla c a t l a c a t l a katla and rohu these are the two common carps are used for the fisheries uh, which are found in a fresh water and in marine water the common carps are hilsa sardines macrae m a c e d r a l macrae and comrade p o m f r e t comrade these are the common carps are used for the fisheries so idru question nam kelta idu two marks common carps are used for the fisheries in fresh water atta nane en kara atla and rohu amale fresh en paathana what we are go for the marine water atta nane en sa en paathana ga sardines macrae and comrade ee one concept value c t mat ee drag question kelabodu ओके एन क्वेश्चन के बोल नहीं वन कई बार बना उनसे बात देख मार दी दिस कॉमन व्हाट कॉमन कार्स आर कटला एंड रोहू दिस आर फ्रॉम दी फ्रेश वाटर एंड व्हाटेवर आई रिटर्न बिलो दोस ऑल आर फ्रॉम दी मराइन वाटर अंडरस्टूड दिस इज अबाउट व्हाट कॉमन कार्स ना फिशरीज इन द सेंस व्हाट हाउ व्हाट इज द इंपोर्टेंट ऑफ फिशरीज इफ फिशरीज आर फिशरी इट हैज एन important place in an eco indian economy it has got its own economic uh, importance in indian economy and it provides the employment for millions of fishermen and farmers fisheries athwa fishery industry it provides the employment for millions of fishermen and farmers especially in a coastal states coastal states atandaga samudra dadi varanta ayina states alla alli understood then many of them many of them atandaga aa vand farmers ko na ven fishermen irthala adru bahalashtu mandi ren paadandaga only source for their livelihood adru yen paadandaga ee fishery fishery vande adu yen paadna vanda source ke avaru vand baduguge avaru baduguge athwa na ven ente kishnaga livelihood only the source for their livelihood that is the fishery in the in the sense like that it gets it means it got the importance in human life understood next one yen paadandaga nowadays for the increasing population okay it means there is a demand for the more production of fishes in the sense large enough large quantity of quantity of fishes we want then we want the large uh, quantities of other aquatic animals like crab prawns and what are going to call as a lobsters etc for that there is a need to develop some techniques those techniques can give us uh, what high yield of Uh, fishes high of uh, what we are going to call that as a cell fishes and other aquatic animals so that the people are developed uh, the techniques to increase the production of fisheries that is what one is aquaculture another one is pisciculture aquaculture and pisciculture and this aquaculture and pisciculture are help for increasing the 
what we are going to call that one as a we are going to go here this uh, pisciculture and aquaculture leads to development and flourishing the fishery industry development these two are helpful for flourishing and developing the fishery industry and that what we are discussing nowadays the blue revolution we are discussing nowadays the blue revolution and this blue revolution is helps for the farmers and particular the salesman to get the more income and that also helpful for our country too so this is about what uh, we are going to discuss uh, discuss about the blue revolution now what is the homework for you people in the sense you are going to find out the difference between the aquaculture and pisciculture aquaculture and pisciculture and this is about what we are going to call as a fisheries fisheries in the sense fisheries is the industry devoted to catching selling and processing the fish selfish and other aquatic animals next one is large number of our population is depend upon the fish fish product and other aquatic animal for their food then next common carp what are means common carp are used for their fisheries are katla and rohu those are fresh water uh, fishes hilsa uh, sardines and mackerel pomegranates are the marine water forms next one is fisheries it has an important place in the indian economy and fisheries is going to provide the employment for the millions of fishermen and farmers some of them are having only the source only the source of their livelihood and now the demand what we are going to call or they they are given in your book what is that uh, the demand of production of large number of large quantity of fisheries the techniques are to be developed that can help us to get the good quality or increase the production of fish uh, fishery industry so that there are the two techniques which are developed that is what one is aquaculture and another one is what we are going to call it as a pisciculture and this leads to the development and producing the fishery industry these two are helps to producing and developing the fishery industry and it has brought a lot of income to the farmers in particular and the country in general it can help to what we are going to call as a brought a lot of income to the farmers as well as to the country also now this thing whatever these aquaculture and pisciculture techniques are brought a lot of income to the particular what we are going to call as a farmers or a fishermen and also to the country that nowadays we talk about the blue revolution that we are you know, nowadays we are talk about the blue revolution this is about what uh, the fisheries okay you are going to remember the common carp name which are found in fresh water as well as which are found in a marine water too and what is the blue revolution and in the next class when we are going to go for the what live class that time we are going to discuss about the aquaculture and pisciculture before that we are going to find the differences between the aquaculture and pisciculture thank you i will stop here and in today's class we are discuss two things one is beekeeping another one is the fisheries okay i will continue next